There are some expressions in Polish to hear what one can hear in grass. Something that is suspended in the air and you can only hear when you really are tuned precisely to silences. In the mid-80s, Wodishko projected a swastika on the South African Council. Kristoff is radical, he's badass. <laughs> Suppose when a war starts, there's a, there's a certain drumbeat within what society says and what it does to get you to go. And suddenly that drumbeat didn't sound like a beat anymore. It just sounded like noise. And that's when uh, I started to doubt the reasons for that war. We romanticize the war. And those monuments are very much part of this process of telling us the things that romantic vision of war offers. The war, the most it took from us as Iraqis, is our sense of belonging. You don't feel you belong to a country that's being raped. If I could change things in the world, I would make it so that nobody would have to go through war itself. Like, no more wars. What motivates someone to want to do such a wild idea as wrap the Arc de Triomphe in a new structure, which would be about the abolition of war and the transformation of consciousness? His wearables, they have this kind of military aesthetic, but they're more like conductors of peace. At night, the city buildings are wrestling with their daily experiences as if they had nightmares about what they do during the day. Monuments really reinforce my interest in continuation of this projectionist life, which lasts <laughs> until today. You told me that I'm a misogynist. I get your emotion. You know, you're entitled to your opinion. Racist. Snowflake, racist snowflake.